Hey guys, what's up? Um, been debating whether I should make this video or not because it's kind of highly controversial, but uh, this is my opinion and some Alpine people are probably going to hate me for it, but this is my opinion and if you have a different one, feel free to comment in the video. But um, I'm going to go over an Alpine Type R coil assembly and spider pack. And well, here's the surround from the Type R also on the rib surround but um, this is from uh, like the second and third gen fourth gen style type R's this one is specifically an SWR 1042D but uh okay so this is the coil assembly and spider pack out of it the spiders have been cut out but as you can tell this is still connected and this is where the lead wires are and this is where I see the major design flaw there's normally two spiders in here and when this coil is going up and down it's it ends up being stiffer here because of these lead wires run through all on one side like that so what ends up happening is your coil ends up starting to rock after a while because it's held stronger there than it would be on the other side. And they don't have anything to make up for it, so it ends up rocking really bad and you end up getting the wear on each side. Um, usually this is only a design flaw that happens in a single voice coil subwoofer, and a lot of companies actually do something to make up for it. Um, the older pioneers, they have lead wires on both sides, even though they're a single voice coil subwoofer. They only use one of the lead wires, but they keep the lead wires on the opposite side, so that the spider re remains the same stiffness on each side. Here's another one that just had the spiders on the one side. I wish I would have kept the coil from this because this coil also um, had really bad rock in it. One of the sides of the coils ended up wearing out at the bottom. I also don't really care for these style lead wires on the spiders because they end up burning and fraying there at the ends. Usually right in here. So I try and stay away from subwoofers with that style lead wire. Uh, I prefer a round wire myself. Um, new NVX here that I got, as you can see, has lead wires on both sides. This is a dual voice coil subwoofer, so that's pretty typical. But this Alpine Type R is also a dual voice coil subwoofer and they put everything right there which ends up being in my opinion a design flaw um, here's a single voice coil it's a single 6 ohm eclipse okay see they have the lead wires on this side and they also have them in the spider on this side just to keep it the same stiffness another example but yeah I mean you guys can make your own opinion out of this whatever you want this is just my opinion but this is why I don't like the Alpine Type R's or the Type X because they're built like this and it's pretty much built to break because this coil is going to have some type of rock there's I mean, it's just, there's no way that the lead wires running through the spider all bunched up like that isn't going to make it stiffer there. Especially over time as the spiders get looser. I don't know if you guys can notice, but there's actually an extra layer on here just for the lead wires. And all this extra string and the wire in there I mean but yeah thanks for watching hope you enjoy the videos
feel free to comment don't forget to hit that like button that really helps out a lot for sharing my videos with everyone so see you later